Libra, oh Libra, what's popping, gang, gang? What's going down in the life of a Libra for the month of August 2019? Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys Queen of Swords, motherfucker? Clip, 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 I gave you this. I ain't even have to cut you off. <laughs> you cut yourself off. That is what I'm feeling. <laughs> I don't know why I feel so goofy about it. I got to leave rising, so oh, I think it's going to resonate. <laughs> you guys, hey, boo, hey, this is first time watching my channel. I'm Oka. Also, this is the first time doing my channel. Look out. I could. Make us a little. Make us a lot. So, if cussing don't work for you right now, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without the cussing, because I'm going to do that, Okay. Thank you so much for your love, like, share, subscribe, comments, donations, etc. I truly appreciate it, especially the damn donations part because you wouldn't believe. <laughs> we took computers in within this year. I need another computer. <laughs> computer breaker. <laughs> you guys, the frequency. I've just been feeling really good. And I feel like as soon as I got on you guys' energy, I felt the sense of like this bubbly ass <laughs> laughter. So I feel that if you guys are just finding laughter out of every situation that comes your way as you continuously move forward in those cycles, okay? Thank you all for, uh, well, sorry, if you were turning subscriber, Emilia, did you miss me? Because I missed y'all. <laughs> also, you guys, if you need to read any of that information, can be found in the description. This is not going to resonate with everybody. Um, I suggest if it doesn't resonate, watch your sun, moon, rise, and Venus. And if not, get a damn read it. Don't be cheap. Fuck. All right. So that said, we're going to hop right on into it. This will be for the first half of August 2019. And what I got for Libra intuitively was heightened on their own persever perseverance, material wealth, awareness, letting go is the lesson, self worth, spiritual teacher. Rapid growth. Come on, Libra. Fearlessly moving forward. Awakening. Positivity. New love. They caught they self up. Confidence. Jealousy. Blockage towards your path. Trust yourself. Using the shadow self. <laughs> that was interesting. Acceptance. Okay? So that's what I got intuitively for you all for the month of August 2019. If that did resonate with you, y'all, this is definitely your reading, okay? Overall energy around the reading, I got the Queen of Diamonds. Libra, a lot of you guys uh, this during this time are being very, very, very upfront about what it is that you want. You're not bending when it comes to your desires and the things that you see and value as a form of fulfillment, okay? Um, when I clear, whoa, to clarify that Queen of Diamonds, let me say, y'all. Some of y'all just gonna literally just fall off the damn scene, okay? I don't know how the hell they car fell off. Listen, I ain't even ask. I just kept it moving. I, <laughs> listen, okay, so some of you guys was the wheel of fortune, okay? So some of you guys could definitely be ending cycles, um, kind of, and, I, and for some of you all, I'm hearing renewal. So some of you guys are standing very firm about what it is that you will not allow when it comes to moving forward as far as renewing a relationship that's been a bit rocky. Others of you I'm hearing could also be going through some form of you were going through a period of divorce or separation with someone. Somebody don't want to see you go leave, but they want to hold a hold on to your love. Ooh. Okay. And um, for some reason, when I was sh doing a pre shuffle, y'all, Beyonce, I, I, I like Beyonce. But I'm not a huge B fan, okay? I like Beyonce esoterically for the knowledge on which she gives. Uh, the people tend to view as witchcraft. I mean, but shit, I, I got my own views on that too for another video for another day. But I will say, um, I kept hearing, um, mm, to the left, to the left, everything you own in the box, to the left, in the closet. That's my stuff, yes, if I bought it, uh, please don't touch. Want to keep talking in this, that's fine, but could you walk and talk at the same time? And it's, it's interesting because I kept hearing that particular part. So some of y'all are being ruthless to someone I feel during this time who have only seen the nice side of the scales. A Libra showing them, why the fuck you think we need a balance in the first place? Bitch, watch the switch up, okay? <laughs> Some of you guys could be ending a cycle uh, possibly with a Taurus, Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Some of you guys are ending a cycle to move forward possibly with one of those signs, okay? 
There's a focus on the throat chakra. Speak up, Libra. Say what you mean, okay? Mean what you say and totally there's this alignment that's taking place. Others of you, you have a whole lot of heavy ties when it comes to your ancestry working on your behalf, okay? Some of you guys may be seeing 444. Some of you guys may be seeing 7777. has to do with the mystery of things as well as a particular alignment that is happening behind the scenes. During this time, your patience is going to be tested to keep you motivated. Let me tell you this from what I feel and see. There's a focus on you believing in everything that you cannot see because spirit is truly working on your behalf. It's like, jump off the cliff, Libra. Jump off the cliff. And Libra like, no, it's far down there. But they didn't tell you that Libra, at the bottom of your shoes, the shoes, that's why they told you to put them damn shoes on at the damn gate to begin your journey with walking because at the back of them shoes, there's parachutes in them. <laughs> it was already set up for you to win. You had to not be your own worst enemy. Angel message for the month. You guys got relationship harmony. Archangel Ragiel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Hold your peace, speak your mind, and mean that shit, and step away because you said what you said. Okay? Others of you may be having Archangel um, Archangel dealings during this time. Some of you guys may be connecting a lot with Archangel Michael and Gabriel. Both of them showed up very pronto with this reading, uh, side by side. So I definitely feel like some of you guys are heavily covered um, by Archangel Michael and Gabriel. Some of you guys are working on connecting with Archangel Uriel when it comes to your communication as far as your, uh, your spiritual path, okay? And others of you, you may be having very vivid dreams. Some of you guys may begin to see the auras around people and their energy that they're carrying. Okay, and you don't really know how to hone it. Some of you guys may be going to some type of spiritual specialist or wanting to become a spiritual specialist and taking the some of y'all I'm hearing the occult, the occult. Some of you guys want to some some of y'all want to create spell or do some type of spell work, like a medicine woman, a medicine man, and it has to do with everyday like modern medicine. You very, very, very strongly against modern medicine, whoever I'm picking up for. Okay. So let's see. But I definitely feel that, and also a rainbow is going to be you guys' this confirmation. Whatever it is that you're praying for, whatever it is that you've allowed, that you've asked your spirit team to um, pretty much attack head first on your behalf, because you know you got to give your archangels and your guys permission. You just can't go up here willy nilly. When you see that fo fo fo, use the energy of that fo fo fo, honey. Use it accordingly, okay? For some of you all, there is a focus again with, with healing. Some of you guys are also healing ancestral cycles when it comes to some. Some of y'all, it involves a mother figure and transmuting um, the negative aspects or the shadow aspects of your mother and kind of comparing and kind of like, it's like comparing and kind of like comparing them to your own life to see where the change can occur, okay, where the change needs to occur and where the healing can be made, okay? So I definitely feel like if you weren't talking to your mama, some of y'all at the end of the month, you are going to be speaking to your mother. Some of y'all is going to be within this time that your mother, I'm also hearing grandmother, who beefing with granny? <laughs> oh, okay. For some of y'all, I'm hearing it could have been actually your child's, your child's grandmother. Okay. Somebody that came to their damn senses to see that Libra's not the bad guy. All right. Hey, what messages do you have in love for August Libra? What messages do you have in love? Okay. There's a conversation that you're going to be having possibly. Some of you guys uh, could expect to be, could, some of y'all intuitively know that you got a, uh, someone that you have to cut off out of your life in order for you to prosper moving forward. It's not like Libra have this, there's this, this is aspect of you guys in the month of August where it's like, I'm tired of being defensive. I'm tired of feeling as if I need to look over my damn shoulder or for that matter, defend somebody, defend myself in my own damn home where I pay bills at. I'm not going to be walking on damn eggshells about how the hell I communicate. So that's it. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and sit you down. Okay. Some of you guys are, um, some of you guys, someone in your energy who could have some type of addiction. I'm hearing opiates. Somebody could be addicted to pills. Others of you <clears throat> are dealing with someone who's a sex addict because they went through some type of uh, sexual abuse when they were younger. It's, 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 what you don't know is psychologically, there's a cycle. There's like, this person is reliving that period in their head over and over again. And so for some of you all, this person can mask that by doing like irate sexual acts. Some of y'all are going to find out that you, the person that you're dealing with could possibly be bisexual, okay? What you didn't know was you thought she was beefing with a woman. <laughs> yeah, not. Okay, that's the whole, the T, okay, the T in the month of August. Some of you guys are also could be going through some type of divorce, possibly with another cardinal sign, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer. Um, some of y'all got a new Cancer coming in your life. 
But some of y'all could actually be cutting off for cardinal signs. So you could, for example, you could be cutting off for Capricorn to move towards with the Cancer, okay? Some of y'all could be cutting off for them uh, Cancer to move forward with the Aries. Some of y'all also could be dealing with another Libra, and there is hella communication issues, and you're ready to drop the defenses during this time. So you know something has to change, and listen, you're going to get with, you're going to get right, or get your ass left. Ain't no in-between. Ain't, ain't no maybes. Baby, <laughs> shout out to Major Payne. That's my boy. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. So what messages do you have in the month of August for Libra? Hmm. And in doing so, you stand in your motherfucking seat as the Empress. Crown me, me. I feel empires, little bitch. You're not finna talk to me like a side of your neck. Okay. Some of you guys could also be uh finding out that some of y'all in the month of August could be finding out that you actually get. Be careful if you reconciling with the Pisces. Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Gemini. Some of you guys, this could be someone who actually tore you down in the past or broke your heart, okay? And it had to possibly cause you to do some major healing and going within yourself to understand that trigger in itself, okay? Some of you guys could also be reconciling with um with another Venusian energy, Libra, Taurus, okay? Some of you guys, you could be reconciling with the mother or the father of your children, who could have really broke you down. This person has now experienced the karma in their life that they caused you once in yours. But some of y'all are going to be defensive towards the energy because there's this sense of resisting. Yeah. There, some of y'all are going to resist this person. This person could also be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? But some of you all, you're really not sure if you kind of want to... Some of y'all have a lot of options, but you feel like your options ain't shit. You rather focus on yourself, your prosperity, your stability, and what it is that you're building because leaning on another motherfucker is, 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 is disappointing, okay? Some of y'all leave, some of y'all could have been dealing with divorce or dealing with some type of separation with someone who you committed to and have children with. This person thought, when I say this motherfucker like grass, when I say the grass was green on the other side, this motherfucker was seeing pastures of green grass. And some of y'all gonna find out that this person wanna come back because somebody end up one of them some of that damn grass, they got there to find out it was a damn it was wee city, bitch. Cause listen, when they got there, they found out this person really was going to be codependent and fuck with them uh, fuck up their finances. And they left you trying to build themselves. That's what they said anyway. That's what I heard. That's what they said. They said they left you saying they were trying to build themselves or whatever. And no, really they was trying to build a bitch. Okay, kind of like a build a bell. They were trying to build a bitch and make her be the empress, make her be you. But they wanted the you that listens and is very cooperative with that bullshit because they're very childish. That person, okay, they were trying to build a bell too. And then the real bell showed up and they started looking at your ex like, hug it down, okay? So someone um could want to become, come home because... Y'all, somebody that you're dealing with got an issue with being by themselves and that's why they holding on to this situation as well. Someone, some of you guys, I'm hearing the addiction is each other. Some of y'all are codependent on each other's energy. Some of you guys are going, some of y'all, if you're dealing with a water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, some of you guys could be receiving communication uh, from an outside party regarding this person, okay? This is, this is not around, this is not around, okay? A reconciliation for some of y'all this is a new water sign if you've been feeling like this person wasn't telling you everything you're going to find out that your intuition was on the money because you're going to be hearing from either a child's mother or someone in their energy who they haven't 100 percent disconnected from and they've been kind of selling this person pipe dreams because they need a place to stay and they told you that they stay somewhere else some of y'all gonna literally bring somebody a damn towel unknowingly because of their own lies oh that's it some of you guys, so yeah, some of you leaders are going to focus on just leaving your options open, okay? And just really focusing on your money. And in doing so, you're really going to build your umpire way faster than what it is. Because some of y'all have invested, I'm hearing six years, seven years, eight years, ten years. This could also be months into relationships that you don't see any type of any type of material gain here in the physical. Some of you guys feel as if you can't get ahead with another person. Some of y'all... You leave with a slick. So somebody is putting an apartment or putting up. I heard town home. Somebody could have signed the outside lease. Um, on the town on on, on I'm here in town home. It could have be on a town home, and didn't tell their spouse. And you kind of been in your head on if you're gonna take this person with you or not. It's like some of y'all sit up wait. It's like you know some shit finna hit the fan, but you just don't know which way to look. You're just waiting to. Wait, wait, but you, it's like, and some of you guys, you could be dreaming that shit's finna hit the fan. You're on the money, I'm saying. Some of you guys, it's not gonna come. There's a, there's a need to surrender 
how surrender and attachment to an outcome because the way that you think it's going to come is not going to come that way either. Some of you guys could also, if you if you recently left a job or you're getting uh, let go from a job during this time, it's for it's happening for you, not to you, because that, for some of you all, a hold and an attachment to a job where the energy is very toxic has been a blockage for you as well. And it has been a blockage for you possibly starting your own business, or for that matter, actually you walking into the path that you signed a damn soul contract to come here for. Some of you guys could also be dealing with a new Libra. I mean, Libra. Some of y'all could be a new Libra. Some of y'all could also be dealing with a new person. Um, <clears throat> some of y'all could also be dreaming about a set of twins. If you're dreaming about a set of twins, some of y'all, when you do get pregnant, you're going to have a set of twins, especially if, you, if you're if connected to a Leo or a Sagittarius. Yeah. And some of you guys, <clears throat> some of you guys are in this space of seclusion. I feel as if you're dealing with a situation where you feel as if you're like literally like in a roommate situation. Like the only thing that y'all really come together on and get agree and agree with is the practical sense of the relationship. But you're needing that nurturing. You're needing that love. For those of you who are worried about money, your worry is the actual delay because the coin looks damn good. Some of you guys may also be receiving a new offer. Some of you guys could also be signing a new contract, which possibly is going to start some shit, especially if you're dealing with an earth sign or possibly a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this is this is tied to some type of attachment to a family situation. Some of you guys are walking away and just like, fuck that lease. Fuck that job. Fuck Fuck that relationship. It makes me unhappy. I got to go. If I keep on holding on to this shit saying the sun is going to come out tomorrow, then I'm going to stay in this place of lack feeling forever, okay? Some of you guys are uh, leaving behind a Gemini. <clears throat> Somebody thought they were slick and tried to use somebody else for finances and didn't expect to fall in love with the person, so now they don't know which way to go. Some of y'all, that could be with an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. <clears throat> Some of you guys have a new beginning, possibly with the reconciliation. With the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And for some of y'all, this person is watching you. Or you're watching that person. But I feel like this person knows that you're attached to another person. And they're just watching you to see if you left that person alone during this time. Because as soon as you actually walk away, this person is coming in straight. And some of y'all are going to be like, how the hell did you know to come in right now? Because, okay, some of you could have walked away from a Leo. Or some of you guys could also be ignoring a Leo. Um, where you've tried to, where you felt as if you've tried to put in all the work to hold this relationship together, but you feel as if this person is either lacking financially or they're just choosing not to give as much as they could to the relationship, okay? Some of y'all have a reconciliation that's been ready to occur with the fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I heard strong Leo, strong Sag, okay? Some of you guys, there is love here. There's something brand new that's going to start. Some of y'all love is going to actually be impacting um, your finances as well. Some of y'all are going to be dealing with someone who could actually be famous or could be wealthy, okay? Or someone could have recently come into some money and they came back to come get their boo. <laughs> Libra, the fuck, all right? So, um, overall outcome, okay, some of you guys could definitely be, if some of y'all are dealing with an earth sign that is, they don't know what the fuck they want to do with themselves, okay? Some of y'all dealing with an earth sign that needs to choose between you and possibly another earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. And some of y'all dealing with somebody who just a whole Libra. They don't know what the hell they want. They don't respect themselves. How the hell you expect them to respect you? For those of you who have been waiting on news about your move, about some type of contract or some type of lease agreement, it is going to be coming in. I do see you going to be hearing about that anywhere between the second and third week of August. Some of y'all got a job proposal that's going to be coming. And it's going to be, it's, it's, some of y'all, you applied for this like eight months ago, eight weeks ago. You gave up on it, and as soon as you surrendered to waiting on it coming, then boom, it falls in your lap. And it, some of y'all, is right after you leave. So for those of you where you've been applying for a whole bunch of jobs, and you also in a toxic relationship, Spirit is saying the reason why those job offers are not coming through is because it's not meant for you to walk into abundance with this person because they're a taker. So what's your overall advice for Libra in the month of August? In love? What's your overall advice for the Libras? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> for some of you all, some of you all, somebody's trying to manifest, um, some of you all, somebody's trying to manifest a new beginning, okay, uh, possibly, but there was a third party, okay, some of you guys, um, if you were dealing with a Gemini, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, a Taurus, secrets, some of y'all are Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this person where they once was possibly 
um, very disconnected when it comes to communicating with you. This person now that they have the they have this feeling of feeling as if they're getting ready to lose. This person now wants to communicate with you. And for some of y'all, they want their family back, okay? If you're dealing with a Gemini, some of y'all could also be could be finding out secrets around someone trying to use magic or secrets could be coming out around somebody trying to bind you to a relationship. This could be involving a fire sign. I got the hierophant here. For some of y'all, this could be involving um, a commitment. Or someone's trying to, secrets could definitely be coming out behind somebody using magic. I definitely heard black magic when I seen that magician. Y'all know I immediately went to, you know, you have everything that you need to manifest. But some of you guys, someone's being exposed. Somebody, there's a magician that's going to be exposed, okay? Some of y'all are dealing with a very argumentative Aquarius. I feel like this person is acting up because you won't let them back in back in your life, Libra, and they feel as if they're going to win by all costs, even if they got to run everybody away from your ass with the drama that they bring in your life. Somebody has obsess um, like obsessive-like energy, okay? The situation will be, uh, will be, will be, um, Transform, okay? It's, it's trying to be renewed here, uh, possibly with a Leo Aries Sagittarius. But this, but this person could have had a lot of secrets before. Now this person is wanting to come back and commit. They want to offer you the same Ace of Cups. They see, they see you can hold it down without them. They don't want to lose again. I hear, I heard lose again. Yeah, uh, you guys are definitely going to be laying a situation to rest. And some of you guys are going to be healing a marriage, especially if you're tied to a Capricorn. Others of you, you're evening out the scales by. Um, choosing to walk away from that little bitty ass damn offer, okay? I do see that someone is still going to be very compromising when it comes to co-parenting. No matter what the hell they're saying, they're going to do right, Libra. I just feel like someone had, <clears throat> someone thought that they was going to get away with murder forever. And Spirit is like, no, did you think that I wasn't going to push this person forward? They've been doing the damn work. So because they've been doing the work, I'm going to move them towards a person who appreciates them, whether you like it or not. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the sign of Capricorn that has addiction. This person has an issue with telling the truth. And that indecision is being removed during this time. Like, we're moving forward. Some of y'all couldn't cutting off that damn indecisive energy and literally um, moving forward. You and you're going to progress very rapidly, okay? I definitely see some of you guys... Um, if somebody promised you that you were going to go on some type of vacation, especially if this is, a tie, if, uh, this is tied to another air sign... I feel like this person may cancel at the last minute. They're doing that because they're going. To, they decided to take. They de they decided to take someone either who they have children with or someone from their past. Someone came in and communicated with this person. Some of you all are also needing to check on your car during this time, and some of y'all may also cut somebody off behind something that you found in your car. Some of y'all are going to actually find find out some. Somebody may find um, an open condom wrapper or um, fucking little Einstein, whoever did this stupid ass shit. This y'all, someone, somebody who did this stupid shit could be um, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody left a room, like a hotel or motel room receipt. Some somebody gonna find a motel hotel room receipt during this time of day party. Y'all, if you need a reading, hit me up because this shit here is the tea. And some of y'all need to speak up about your sexual preferences. Some of you guys are going to be changing as far as how you look at relationships. Um when it comes to sharing your energies with different different people. Um some of you guys may also uh, choose to go celibate during this time after some type of heartbreak, which is pretty much a catalyst to a spiritual awakening for someone to actually um bring in the harvest through this transformation. Okay. So you guys, this is what I have for you guys for the month of August. I pray that this resonates resonates with you all. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as let me know how this resonates, y'all. Because some of y'all are dealing with an interesting Capricorn and an interesting earth earth sign period. Y'all is doing this, huh? We would say, you said you not you must didn't know about me, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna name this. You did, you must didn't know about me. Because Libra, a lot of you guys are moving forward, trusting your damn self, okay? Some of you guys could have been praying or um actually some somebody could have also done a ritual to find out some type of information regarding someone's connection or a past life connection to a child. Yeah. You dealing with the sign of Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio. Truth could be coming out about a child. This person has been hiding. Okay, so y'all, y'all, let me know again. Let me get the hell out y'all energy. I love y'all. Yeah.
Love and light. Namaste. See you guys later. And also, oh, also, um, if you haven't, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to doing weeklies or whatever. I actually may be posting them today. I'm doing them elemental, okay? So you got to take what resonates. But it is at Mocha, M-O-C-H-A, underscore love, underscore tarot. Follow me. I'm going to follow you back, you guys. And I love you all. And I will see you guys for the mid-months. Bye, boo.